Dominic Perites delivered a fiery spray at reporters when pressed on the whereabouts of one of his brothers. State Parliament has hired private investigators to track down Jean-Claude Perite after claims of branch stacking at an upper house inquiry. And leave my family out of it. Leave my family out of it. Seriously. No, 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 seriously. No, leave my family out of it. I'm here elected to represent the people of New South Wales. The Premier under pressure after explosive allegations at a New South Wales upper house inquiry. Liberal Party member and businessman Fritz Mare claims the Premier's brother Jean-Claude Perrottet and former Liberal State Executive member Christian Ellis sought payments of $50,000 so they could launch a branch stacking operation in 2019. The goal? To unseat sitting federal Liberal MP and former Prime Minister Scott Morrison's right-hand man, Alex Hawke, from his own federal electorate. The problem is, no one knows where Jean-Claude Perrottet, who has been summoned to give evidence, is. Private investigators are trying to track him down. Have you, have you spoken to your, either of Charles or Jean-Claude? No. Do you know where they are? Oh. Is it ridiculous that it's got to the point that professional servants have been employed by the parliament to try to crack them down? These are unsubstantiated allegations. They are made in an inquiry established by the Labor Party a month out from an election. But that's not entirely true. The claims of impropriety within a Sydney council were first made by Liberal Ray Williams. Jean-Claude Perrottet is also a Liberal factional figure in the Hills District of Sydney. And if you look at the circumstances that led to the creation of the inquiry, it was a member of Mr Perrottet's own government who in a private member statement under parliamentary privilege suggested that some pretty extraordinary things were happening inside the Liberal Party. Former Hillshire Mayor Dr Michelle Byrne admits she doesn't have any evidence of alleged branch stacking but says that, that is um, ICAC's role to investigate. The Premier also blew the whistle at Labor's announcement. If Labor wins government next month, it will establish a special commission of inquiry into the funding of the New South Wales health system. It will have similar powers to compel witnesses as a royal commission. It's not a witch hunt. It's not a blame game. It's quite the opposite. It's an opportunity for everybody, whether they work in health, have been a patient in health, have a family member as a patient, or whether have an interest in good public policy, to make a contribution to what I think will be a landmark review. What we need are more bulk billing GPs, uh, not more lawyers and their fees. That's what you get in a two-year royal commission. The Premier may not like the focus on members of his own family or expect that his election campaign would be derailed by members of his own family. But until his brother is found, and for as long as the Upper House inquiry runs, expect more pressure on the Premier as Labor attempts to tarnish the Perrottet brand. Kenny Heatley, Sky News, oh. Sydney.